All right, now I want to show how you can create a recommendation for one of your connections on LinkedIn. Right now we're on uh, my news feed here and we're going to go to my pal and coworker Tim Murphy. And we're going to go to his page. So this is my uh, colleague Tim Murphy and he uh, works as a HIT facilitator here at PAFP. And uh, I want to recommend him to all my connections and to his connections so that uh, anyone who comes to his site sees that he has been recommended. Now, what, is, what, is recommend, what does recommendation mean on LinkedIn? Well, it's, it's very similar to how recommendations work anywhere else. When someone recommends somebody, it's a testimonial to their character as a person and as a, a professional resource. So, having a recommendation on LinkedIn, uh, having any recommendations on LinkedIn, because you can have more than one, is actually a, a very big boon to your profile because that means uh, someone has taken the time out of their day to write about you that you could share with uh, your constituents and colleagues. So how do we actually go and do it? So we're on Tim Murphy's page and we are going to go to the little triangle here and we're gonna go to recommend. We're gonna click on that and we gotta figure out what type of recommendation that we're going to give to him. So you have a couple options here. I have the first one here that's actually checked is colleague and it, it, it defines it. So you have worked with Tim Murphy at the same company, which I do. If I'm working in a different field, you'll see service provider. So if you've hired Tim Murphy for a service and uh, for your company, you can give him a recommendation as a client. If you have worked with Tim Murphy as almost like a B2B relationship, you can recommend as a uh, business partner. And then the last one here, this is very important for students and residents. Uh, student, when you were at the school, you were either a fellow student or a teacher. So that's why for many uh, young professionals, it's uh, great to start having a LinkedIn page before you get out of school, start building your contacts before that. We're going to keep it on colleagues since that is the most appropriate response here. So I'm going to click on go. And then what happens is I'm taken to this page where it says create a recommendation. And then it talks about the relationship of how I know Tim Murphy. And then I have a, a little box down here that I can expand to write in a recommendation. So we're going to see the basis recommendation. The basis is have I managed Tim directly? Have, do I report directly to Tim? Uh, am I senior to him but did not manage him directly? Tim was senior to you but did not manage him directly? We worked within the same group or worked in different groups. Um, we actually work in different groups so that's applicable for here but you can see how the relationship um, actually works. So we're going to click on you worked with Tim in different groups. So I have to choose the title at the time of my posting. So I have to figure out if I am, is this my current job or is this something past? Because I can give recommendations for anyone who I have worked with in the past at a previous company. Uh, when I used to work as a creative director, I had actually um, recommended all of my interns. And as soon as they actually created a, uh, a LinkedIn page, maybe after I left there and came to PAFP, I was able to go back and list my title. So as you click here, you're gonna see all the titles that I have had since I've started my uh, LinkedIn page. So if you have filled out your profile to a, a very full extent and you're remembering all your titles, you can actually go back and choose which job, which title that you had at the time so that you can give your recommendation. So I am going to choose my current title here at PAFP and then I have to choose Tim's title. So I can actually recommend him from when he worked at other places as well. So if Tim and I had worked previously in another job and I've known Tim work from another place, I could choose what his position was, how, what his title was at the time and give a recommendation for that type of work. I'm going to pick though the HIT facilitator here at PAFP. So that's the relationship. We've worked in different groups uh, I'm using the current title for the position that I hold currently, and I'm using his current title for the position he holds currently. But as you can see, you can change this to kind of backdate, you know, your recommendations. So 
That is how the relationship status works here. And what, how this actually works is when you see a recommendation, you're going to see how the person who wrote the recommendation, how they are actually related to the person. So you can't just create a recommendation for somebody and you know not identify how you actually uh, are related to that person in some professional manner. So this portion here, now this is all filled out, now I get to write the recommendation. And um, recommendations are great. You really want to think long and hard about your recommendations you're going to give out to people. So, uh, and you've probably heard this many times ever since school. So I actually have something prepared and I am just going to then copy and paste that in here. Now, I can, you know, view the message that will be sent to Tim. So he's going to get a notification right here and a message stating that I have actually created a recommendation for him and then he can actually choose if he wants to show that recommendation or not. So if you are recommended by somebody, you can actually choose to show that recommendation on your profile. Now, as a physician, why would you not want to show a recommendation? Um, you know, maybe you went as far back as the days when you worked in, you know, as a gas station or in retail. It has nothing to do with healthcare whatsoever. You know, maybe your first job ever and you decided, heck, I'm going to put it up on my, uh, my LinkedIn profile because I wanted to connect with old bosses or something there. Whatever. Whatever your reasons are, you can actually get recommendations from people you've worked with outside of your current industry who you've known from years past. So that's, again, the whole reasoning with social networking is that you can connect with people from a long time ago. Well, you can, you can get recommendations, but you don't have to show them. You can just keep them. So you don't have to actually make them all public. So if you, as I'm writing this recommendation for Tim, he is going to get a message and a notification and it'll show him my recommendation. He can then choose to make that recommendation public or private. If he keeps it private, he will actually see it on his profile and that's it. If he chooses to make it public, what happens then is it gets posted on his actual um, profile page that everyone then can see. So I am going to click send. And then what happens then is that my recommendation has been created and I go back to Tim Murphy's profile. So let me show you where the recommendations actually sit at. On the long uh, profile page here, as long as you scroll down, now Tim's privacy settings are set up that everything that comes to his page will be public. So right now you can see my recommendation that's on his page. So I can click on more and I can see more of the, the information here. So you're seeing my name, my title, and you can see that that's been time stamped and I worked with him. Um, it says here, oh, it said Hershey Medical Center. I have to go back and I could go back and change that or Tim, or Tim can go in there and actually change it as well. So um, that's how recommendations work.